This legislation requires FBI, ATF, DEA, and Marshal Service officers and employees to record both custodial and non-custodial interviews of individuals suspected of having committed a criminal offense. Since 2014, the DOJ has had a policy in place that creates a presumption that custodial interviews are electronically recorded. It also encourages non-custodial interviews to be recorded. But the policy provides no penalties or consequences for not recording interviews. Without a law in place that requires interviews to be recorded, FBI agents and officers are free to ignore the policy without any consequences. In lieu of a policy requiring interviews to be recorded, the FBI's standard practice is for agents to take notes during an interview and summarize those notes in Form 302. However, without a verbatim record of what was said during an interview, prosecutors, defendants, and judges are often left with a Form 302 of the interview that merely summarizes the FBI agent's characterizations and memories of what was said during the interview, or worse, the Form 302 mischaracterizes what was said. We've seen the FBI weaponize these 302s against Republicans. In 2016, the FBI began a counterintelligence investigation into Lieutenant General Michael Flynn for potential violations of the Foreign Agents Registration Act. On January 24, 2017, FBI agents Strzok and Pienka interviewed Flynn, who was serving as President Trump's national security advisor at the time. Then FBI Director Comey later stated that under a more organized administration, he probably wouldn't have gotten away with it. FBI handwritten interview notes from then FBI agent Bill Priestap state that one of the goals in the January 24, 2017 Flynn interview was to quote, get him to lie so we can prosecute him or get him fired, end quote. The interview was an obvious pretense to charge Flynn with an 18 U.S.C. 1001 violation, which Special Counsel Miller's office did. This bill contains exceptions to the recording requirement to ensure that the FBI isn't required to record interviews involving confidential informants, undercover officers, and in other circumstances where there is an immediate threat to public safety. This bill will also ensure fairness for criminal defendants and promote accountability for bad actors in the FBI. If the FBI can do this to a three-star general who served this country for over 30 years, you better believe they can do it to you. The need for this legislation is urgent. I urge my colleagues to support the legislation, and Mr. Chairman, I yield back.